Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brits for Ukraine. This is episode two. Uh, I'm Alex Kanash. For anyone that doesn't know who I am, I'm a British citizen with Ukrainian heritage. Um, I help out with the Ukrainian war as a fundraiser and truck driver for the 69 Sniffing Brigade. Uh, we are an Estonian-Ukrainian NGO that delivers mostly pickup trucks, armoured vehicles for frontline units, for Kasivak, but we also do other stuff as well that, that helps Ukraine defend its land and fight off the Russians. And this series is about interviewing, as the title suggests, right, British people that are helping Ukraine defend their land, keep their people safe and and help to fight off Russian aggression. And this week, I've got my friend Naomi joining me. And Naomi, hello Naomi, Naomi is a um, is a fundraiser for NAFO, the, the North Atlantic Fellows Organization. And she does a number of different things to help raise funds for, for different organizations and units that are that are involved in the conflict. So Naomi, thank you very much for taking okay. the time. <laughs> no problem. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. It's raining, summer, it's eleven degrees, but it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> It's pretty standard British weather. I've um I've been doing a uh, a daily weather update on YouTube, having carried it on from Good Morning Kiev, the show that we did whilst out there, and uh, it's not been uh, a fun, exciting experience, no. is it? No. Um, no. Uh, so Naomi, like, explain to everyone a little bit. First of all, like, what exactly do you do for the Ukraine effort? Okay, so um I. Became a fella quite early on because I love Twitter. Um, the reason I got involved in this whole thing in the first place, um, there's a reporter called Tim White on Twitter. And I kind of got to know him a little bit through COVID because uh, working in healthcare, I needed to kind of be up to date with everything that was going on with COVID. But I needed it to be reliable, um, not scaremongery. Um, and he was a really good reporter for that and um, kind of helped me through that. So he also has a very big interest in Ukraine. So from that I then learned a little bit more about the situation and the build-up towards the start of the like main bit of the war not just the start of the war that was ages ago but um and got just completely shocked by what I saw when that started like cities obliterated families torn apart the devastation like honestly it it, it just get you and it's not ukraine's not that far away do you know what i mean like um Ryanair is a european airline they fly there like it's not it's not that far away it's a few hours isn't it yeah. um and i just i still to this day can't believe this is actually happening um but anyway so from that i then kind of following on twitter um looking reading i found a few people like dimco from um Ziggur's Poor, uh, and kind of got a little bit emotionally invested, to be fair. And I was like, how can I help? So the first thing I did was I did a 48-hour non-swear <laughs> thon. <laughs> I have a bit of a potty mouth, not going to lie. I'm going to try not to do it here. Um, so I got sponsored, and um, my company actually doubled the sponsorship. So I raised about 1,600 quid. I sent half to um, Ziggur's Poor and half somewhere else. I can't remember where. That's terrible. Um, and then from that, I was like, what else can I, I, I do? Like, how can I raise more money? I can't tap my friends and family up forever. They're going to like never talk to me again. So I was like, join the NAFO <laughs> fellas anyway. And then I had this thing, idea bubbling in my head about a key ring. Like, because I was going to make one for myself. And I thought, can I do it? All I need are the key rings, envelopes. I just need someone to print them. My friend runs a printing business. And she was like, I can print them for you. That's not a problem. So we've kind of got like a... A little deal between us so she she doesn't make really any profit from it but she helps me out so she prints them I make them and then I was like oh I don't think I can do it like how how am I going to people to trust me this is not not going to work right mm. and then I thought do you know what I don't know what I just got some wave of bravery and I thought right screw it let's just put it out so I put it out and 10 people literally came back to me over two or three days so I was really nervous because obviously writing addresses in different countries as well like like literally I had to learn everything from scratch I had to fill in PayPal banking internet banking like everything because I don't really do any of that I'm lazy and um, so and I sent them out and they arrived and then I had 85 quid profits from that then key rings and I sent it to Ziggur's Paul that was my first one because obviously it's one of my favorite charities Ukrainian run Ukrainian mm -hmm. 
Um, and it worked. And I was like, oh my God. So I thought, I'll carry on. So that's what I've done. So basically, anyone who's got an A for a fella can then pay me some money. Um, I print it in a key ring. I send it. I take the postage and the cost. It's, it's minimal. And then every single penny, cent, euro, everything, then goes to charity every week. So I do a, I'll do them in batches because it's just easier. Um, obviously, limited reach on Twitter. I think I only got like 4,000 followers or something. So, and there's like... Oh, I don't know, 10, 20, 30,000 fellows out there, but obviously I can't reach them all. So things have kind of chilled down a little bit and they did chill down a bit. And then I thought, oh, I'll do unit ones. Task Force right. Baguette, my favourite unit in the whole world. Um, I contacted them. They actually replied and really died. And um, <clears> for their permission, <throat> and I did their keyring, literally, and their keyrings have made over a thousand pound profit. Um, and then I kind of just did that for the units, like, because it's just the way I can make profit and it's not, gonna win the war it's a few hundred quid but it's something makes me feel like i'm doing something i think it's great naomi and then just to like to, to plug in the gaps for anyone that's like not aware of of the detail of, of how the volunteers help in ukraine nafo is a uh, the north atlantis fellas organization so that's sort of a an umbrella group that um joins together people that do do something like Naomi um, and NGOs and charity organisations that, <laughs> that that do make a difference, um, and um, the basically a fella is a if you've made a donation to um, a, a NAFO charity, um, you can show some evidence, and then there's these people called forgers who are like graphic designers basically who will make you a custom nafo fella which is a what type of dog is it naomi like it's a shibu into yes yeah. I yeah. yeah yeah i don't know how to say it exactly i seem to always get it wrong it's a it's a it's quite a cute looking dog but you can then get it made into whatever you want naomi was just showing on the screen there her one yeah, uh, that's mine it's a physio fella so it's basically me but not me because it's a dog <laughs> I've got um, a Lara Croft one. So you've got a Lara Croft one. <laughs> yeah. That's my badass one for when I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Love it. No, I'm sure you're never in a bad mood. Um and um and Task Force of Baguette are a are a are an international fighting unit of experts uh within the Legion that have yeah, there they are. There's there's the boys. Um, that have been fighting from the very early stages of the war. They've been involved in a lot of the serious battles they've been based around Bakhmut for quite a period um but i think they they come across as very professional and and worthwhile people to support and i've i've certainly also funded them as well and i've got a task force spaghetti key ring right so yeah. <laughs> super cool naomi so you make key rings right and you've done them for units you've done them you've done them for one of my campaigns as well i think in the past or, um, or you've donated some profits from donated some of some it. yeah i have got one for yeah. Campaign coming, yeah, yeah, that'll be cool because we've we've just completed some campaigns, but we'll be we'll be doing some more. Um, you've are you doing anything else? No, right. have you got any other genius ideas on how to <laughs> explain what this that is, is? This is little Ted Ukraini. Um, I was just <laughs> losing my mind a little bit because of the key ring momentum's gone a little bit, and I'm like, what else can I do? And then one of my favorite twitter people april sparks she's um she crocheted this shark bag and it was like mint like, honestly it was awesome and she did a raffle and i was like oh that's an idea what can i do i can't crochet i've tried for years and um, i can knit oh, i'm so cool um and <laughs> i just i just decided i'll try it so i've made a few of these fellas and then um, yeah i put it out on twitter and i'm gonna raffle them and try and raise a bit of money but yeah amazing that's very cool. I think I think the point is right is that you know you you you've proven that if you care and you just do something you can make a difference, right? Because you know yeah. from the sound of it you've raised thousands. Yeah, you yeah, made some over six, I'd say. I think it's just over six. Yeah, just from quite. hearing, like what? Like as mental. Isn't it mad, right? Just from key yeah. and not swearing for two days. No, oh, yeah. that, so if I include that, about seven and a half. But yeah. <laughs> Amazing, right? You know, that's yeah. that's a proper amount of money just by you who just did something. Um, which is which is super cool. And I and so, you know, thank you for everything that you've done there. 
Um, I think it's the good thing about what you do and a lot of those volunteer efforts is it's not just give us money, like you're giving something back so yeah, people that- can collect something, right? Do you, do you agree with that? That's kind of what it is, yeah. So it, it it's yeah, just yeah, just like I'm a mentor, I'm like, but also it spreads word as well. And like on the key rings, the charity ones, like the United Twenty Four ones, and they're they're three times our renegade relief. It's got their like Twitter tags and stuff, so you, you can then, and I think it's got their link tree actually, yeah. So um, you can then go on that and and find out a bit more about them, and then donate again if you wanted to or, or someone might see the queuing and be like oh who's that like what's this like my dad like with the task force baguette ones he's like who's that because he's half french so he was all quite interested and then like right. it just kind of spreads the word doesn't it do you know what i mean so um right. yeah it's like advertising and, but thank you and but before you've done this you do you didn't you weren't involved in ukraine you haven't got any ukrainian family like no friends, no like that, did. Huh? they're awesome people but no i haven't no, so just completely just doing something because you, you you care. Yeah, I just as like I said, I just it just beggars belief that this is happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's just sad. Um, I think um, but uh, I think you know with efforts from people like you and the and the brave um fighters on the ground, be it Ukrainians or the International Legion. Um, yeah you know, I mean just just you've got to pay homage to them like they're fr- like from another country like all over Europe America Canada everywhere like Australia and um, there's a guy from New Zealand I think Australia and he's making drawings and stuff like they they're living their life in their home country without any drama and they're like oh not very happy with what they're seeing and thinking do you know what I've got skills here let's help yeah. and they're putting their lives in, in you know at risk and I'm like wow like that's amazing um it's cool there are some um, good people in this world also the volunteers you know they're also like richard from a frontline kitchen just like a standard guy like really nice and now look at him like he's literally raising money for tourniquets like proper ones and and feeding the frontline troops and organizing all that stuff you know like massive kudos and you like i could pick up you as well no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a, I'm just a truck driver. Don't worry about me. Yeah, all um, right. In the front lines, yeah, okay. Just a truck driver. Um, but I can't no, even I drive mean, down the motorway without screaming. Uh, I think Richard. Um, I feel sorry for him. He's had to cut so many carrots and and vegetables. I think you know that's a real grind. Like to, um, I love cooking, right? But but to cook on that scale every yeah. day, like that's yeah. real proper perseverance that is so you know fair play to them all he's got such a lovely friend network out there now he's like he's got like a whole new family out there now and they look after him is he pets all them animals that's got to make up something right (laughs) and and i do think go on sorry when you go out there you meet people with shared values and you've all got a common purpose so you do form very strong bonds with people quite quickly so you know i now look forward to going back and seeing all the people i know out there because you're yeah. all on a, on a mission together yeah i'd love to go out there i really would like my background's obviously rehab like if it was a different situation i was married with kids and stuff i'd probably be out there now like volunteering in the hospitals working with amputees like trying to get them back on their feet all that kind of stuff um and that probably keeps me awake most of the night because uh, right at the beginning for instance like I I felt like I could add something now they'll probably teach me to be fair the therapists out there they're, they're probably like amazing right now but I just I just needed to help somehow and you know this caring thing at least lets me sleep a bit at night I think um yeah my view is that you've got a daughter you've got a husband you've made the right choice not giving that up and entering into a war zone yeah. That's the right thing to do. Um, as noble as it sounds, you have greater responsibilities that you need to look after. And uh, so you are making the right choice. So I sh- you should be able to sleep at night with what you do anyway. You're not um, doing anything wrong. You've done more than most anyway. Um, I think the, the, the rehabilitation of Ukraine and its people will go long after 
the conflict has been won. So, you know, there will be ample opportunity, no doubt, for you to apply your skills and expertise, Naomi. I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So what is it? Like, what do you, if you, you know, if you want to say, like, what do you, what is your expertise? What do you do? What do you, are you, are you work in rehab? Really, but in anything, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. But, uh, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just a physiotherapist, so cool. um, yeah. Wow, yeah. Well, that well, that is a trained skill, right? And um, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, at the right time, that type of skills will be useful. So, yeah, and and also, once it's a bit safer, um, it'll be a great place to go and visit with your with your kids. And your oh, kid definitely. And your yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll be teaching yeah, her. Yeah, it's a bit it's absolutely amazing so she's already got you... an interest in ukraine already i mean she's only like little but she um she always asks me every day like what's happening and stuff and i made her own little ted and she like literally clings on to it so oh, yeah. that's super cute and uh are you uh are you managing to enjoy your summer as well a little bit and escaping from this uh this rain that we've got here yeah, as far as I'm, I'm working for quite a bit of it as well. So obviously, can't have the whole summer off. But um, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. So if people want to um, buy a teddy, right, or a key ring, or anything else that you might make, right, to raise money for Ukraine, how do they do that? Um, so they have to go onto Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. My at is at Naomi Morris nineteen eighty. Um, and on there, there's kind of like the details of it. And um, I normally just ask them for an email address. I did put the email address of the keyrings on Twitter and then I got absolutely bombarded with spam. So yeah, horrendous. So I don't do that. So what I do is I, I get people to DM me their email address and then I email them all the details because it's got all the information about everything. Um, yeah, so that's it. I, I, am ho I would love to have a website, but that's way above my skill set. Um, and um, yeah. So it and it works at the moment, so it's fine. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll put those details in like the description of this video on YouTube, right? So people can click through, and yes. uh, if they want to um, buy your key rings or the or or Teddy Ukraini, then they can. Mm -hmm. And also, if anyone wants to make you a website to help you out, they can also comment on this video and uh, we can get in touch and they can make that happen for you, I suggest. Um, because, you know, there's people with technical skills out there, I'm sure, that that, that, that can do that probably quite easy and, and, and make it happen. So, you know, that, that should be, that would be cool. And, and hopefully we can get some more of your key rings and, and Teddy Ukraini sold as well. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Um, have you got any other questions that you want to um you ask or any other comments you want to make? Because I know you've got to um crack on with your day at school holidays. The kids are off. You know your daughter's probably running around in the background destroying you know the upstairs of the house. She's actually at a karate fun day today. Oh wow! Right yeah. there we go. Learning life skills. Um, so uh, do I have any questions? I have so many questions about everything, but no, I think I'm quite keen to carry on if I can um, when this war is won, which I hope to God that happens. Um, you know, I'll still go, I'll still go helping Ukraine. Like you said, there's rehab, there's all sorts of things, there's rebuilding um, to get involved in, you know, to raise money for. So in this for the long haul. Sometimes like it does get me down like a lot, like, you know, cause I've messaged you in the middle of the night, I've gone, oh my God. Um, but, you know, you just got to carry on, haven't you? Just got to carry on. Yeah, you do. Like, uh, yeah, war is relentless and it's is horrible. And um, yeah, it's it is difficult at times. But um, yeah, it's about trying to carry on, um, keep doing what we do, and uh, Ukraine will win. And everything that you do is amazing, right? So, you know, well done <laughs> for your efforts. Um, and hopefully, you know you inspire others to do it or you at least inspire others to, you know, donate and, and keep providing the funds that are needed to, to help bring that victory as quickly as possible. Um, yeah. Because the... 
because there is um there was somebody else who contacted me and they um they're like a metal forger I think their skills are unbelievable and they said oh, you know look I, I feel like you I want to make something as well like what do you think that like, it was key rings as well and I was like crack on like do anything that raises money it doesn't matter if it's the same if someone else wants to start making key rings make them because it doesn't matter um and so they make like um this kind of metal key fobs they're absolutely awesome i'll text you their twitter link so you can put that on and then there's uh mcfella face <laughs> fella mcfella i can't remember I to him as well and he does the nafo id cards which again raises money yeah. you know so like um yeah if it inspires anyone to do anything please do it like i don't care if it's even the same like just do it that's it i don't think <clears throat> there's no egos or involved or <clears throat> No one cares, right, about no. who's doing the most. It's just about doing something and then providing help to Ukraine. So yeah, just exactly. crack on and get involved. Yeah, totally. Nice one, mate. Well, thank Little, you uh, for taking your time to speak to me. Um, no problem. Uh, if anyone has got any questions, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll get them to Naomi. Um, please, obviously, like and share this video and um, we'll do i'm going to do more in the series as well um should be uh getting some interesting ones as well from uh who have i got, I've got a guy guy eddie that's i mean who's just like doing the most simpler things right aquaid just delivering water to the villages on the front line where their water supply has gone but that makes a big difference you can't live without water do you exactly. know what I mean? Isn't it? Yeah, you know, you don't... Yeah. It's not you know, just, you, is it? It's literally life-saving aid, isn't it? 100%. Yeah, it's not just guns, is it, right? You know, if you don't have water, you're dead anyway. So, you know, really simple thing, but what a great thing to be doing. So we'll get more people on who will tell why their stories are what they've done and why they're doing it. And the more we keep the awareness going on Ukraine, the more it stays in people's eyes, just like your key rings do. You know, it keeps it out there yeah. in people's and um it means that you know we help ukraine and they're gonna win so nice one naomi thank you very much alex thank you Slavia. take care of yourself slavi <laughs> haram slava and i will uh i will keep you updated as we uh drive the next convoy in very yes. soon yes I, I need you to keep checking there otherwise i'll panic <laughs> yeah no problem <laughs> It's also right. yeah. This is here, right? This is this is this is the the Ukrainian trizob, uh hello or, or thing as well, right? So do your three middle fingers. Exactly. Okay. That's it. As long as you there don't you miss, that's fine. <laughs> you can't get that wrong, right? And you could be offending people, but as long as you keep it as three, you're doing it all right. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Lovely to see you. Wicked. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.